using hot water it just helps with primary uh, primary engine oh, some water first oh, i see before we actually try and start it and then you'll use cold water to cool it yeah yeah Is that fully open? A bit more. That's fully open there. Right. So that's fully open. So that one needs to be round there. That so needs to be, yeah. Yeah? yeah. But that's shut there. Yeah. Yeah? Because we don't want the leaking out of there. Turning the, the regulator yeah. until the engine starts spinning. Yeah. When it fires up, fires up, just turn it all off again. Okay, yeah. Yeah? So you can be in control of that. What I'm going to do now is spin the engine over on its electric starter so that we can actually get oil pressure into the engine before we attempt to start it. And that'll help prime the water pipes as well. So uh, all I need to do is push the starter button and, hope, and wait until the, uh, until the oil pressure comes up on the gauges. So that's what I'm going to do now. Okay, so we've now got oil pressure. So we're in a position where we can now put all the spark plugs back in it, put some fuel in it, and then attempt to start it on the air start mechanism. Is it stuck on? It'll probably come out when we air start it.
Okay, so hopefully we're going to have a good evening and the car and the uh, engine's going to start straight up. But first off, I'd like to thank everyone that's been involved in this project. It's been a long project so far. Um, workshop team, obviously, all the volunteers and part suppliers and fabricators that we've got here. Um, I just want to thank, basically, thank everyone for all their hard work into getting us to this position. So we're just going to now prime it all up, turn the air on, and hopefully it's going to go. Okay, Phil, if you want to turn the uh, water on, Michael. Michael, are you doing the air or? Okay. So, Mitch, if you want to pressurise the fuel tank. We'll try it at that, Mitch. Just keep an eye on it and see what happens, OK? So that should be ready to go. So you can turn the fuel on. Spin her over then. That's brilliant, yeah. It started so well, you know, so. Well, we could try it again on the air start, see if it'll spin it over again. Yeah. 
Yeah. Got All right, knock it off. Yeah. You'll go on the electric starter again. How was that and how does that feel after however many years it's been rebuilding? Well it's a relief for one thing to know that we put everything in the right place because that uh, was a bit concerning but uh, very pleased with how it's performed. Um, we've obviously got a few oil leaks and things to sort out. The air cylinder didn't quite have enough air in it but we know that it works. It did start it once on it so all we need is another fresh oil, uh, air cylinder and it'll fire straight up again. Very pleased with it and very pleased with all the work that everyone's done.